Since the AS curve has two ex extreme regions, it can shift in two very different ways. Now, this lesson will, will try to explain to you what, what each of these movements mean and when to shift the curve in that manner. And so what are these two main movements? So let's start with the horizontal Keynesian range. Now, this horizontal range can either shift upwards or downwards, as shown. And it is mainly affected by changes in the costs of production. So say if raw materials like oil become more expensive and unions or unions negotiate for higher wages or you know, governments reduce production subsidies, the AS curve will shift upwards as shown. And the converse is also true. Essentially, in order to determine whether the AS curve will shift upwards or downwards, you just need to figure out whether the firm's cost of production increases or decreases respectively. Now on to the vertical classical range. This part of the curve can move either left or right and is mainly affected by changes in the productive capacity of an economy. And it does move in a similar manner to the production possibilities curve. So since the classical range denotes full employment level of outcome, a uh, full employment level of output in the economy, it is affected by factors that impact the maximum amount of goods and services a country can produce. So if a country has a sudden baby boom or it drastically improves its level of technology, it will increase its production potential and hence AS curve will shift to the right. If a massive natural disaster destroys a nation's factories, then the greatest quantity of goods and services it can produce will fall, resulting in a leftward shift in the AS.